Good afternoon, everyone. This is James from Dividend Stock Talk, brought to you by the 10-Minute Trader. The story starts with the Epic of Gilgamesh, written 4,000 years ago. Inscribed upon clay tablets were mathematical calculations and equations that told stories of men conducting business, borrowing and lending money, profit sharing and interest payments. Money lenders and merchants were also mentioned in the Bible written 2,000 years ago. In 1288, the Bishop of Steris traded one of his estate properties for an eighth share in the Great Copper Mountain Mine. It was in the 1590s when Dutch businessmen created the very first publicly owned company. That was the beginning of our current stock market. They went door to door selling corporate shares. As an investor, you owned a piece of the company. You shared in their profits. The Dutch East India Shipping Company was the very first publicly owned corporation. They paid out 8% annual dividend for 198 years. Very quickly, more and more companies followed suit. Amsterdam stock market opened its doors in 1607. The New York Stock Exchange opened May 1792. The crash of 1929 caused the president, FDR, to create the SEC as part of the New Deal. They were formed to keep everyone honest, to level out the playing field. As of this writing, February 2021, there are over 7,000 companies in the U.S. Only 4,014 of these companies pay out dividends. In order to collect the dividend check, you have to be a registered owner. To do that, you buy the stock anytime before the EX date. The EX date is the last day the stock trades before the dividend is paid out. Collect the dividend, sell after the date of record, that's dividend capturing. There's no trading on weekends and holidays. Each month has about 20 trading days. With 4,014 companies paying dividends this year, that's about 62 profitable companies paying dividends every trading day. But these are not all pre-qualified dividend stock companies. 25 years or more of consistent dividend increases to the shareholders is what it takes to make a pre-qualified dividend stock. Any one of these companies would be great to buy and hold. But I am here to invest for weekly cash flow. So I'm going to eliminate which stocks to buy, and I'm going to invest in all of these companies, one at a time, according to the, when they pay their dividend. I know this is a very basic approach. Watch my videos, grasp the concept, follow along if you too want to invest for weekly cash flow using dividend stocks. The end.